Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mike with Headrush and I'm here today with the Headrush Gig Board. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the included Pro Tools First software and how to set it up with your gig board. Let's get started. So let's set this up for some tracking and reamping. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to access the global menu setting just by selecting the dot 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 menu at the top right hand side of the screen. You want to make sure and select in your USB audio section, turn that on and also select DAW. That's going to make sure that you're sending the signal directly into Pro Tools first. All right, let's back out of there. On Pro Tools first, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the setup menu and engage playback engine. And make sure you're set up for Headrush gig board and front left one and two. Now let's set up some tracks. I'm going to make it the first track a stereo track. The other two are going to be mono. So track one is going to represent that direct output from the gig board, while track two is going to be a dry signal used later for reamping. Let's engage both of those and arm them ready to record. All right, so now let's set this up for reamping. We're going to reaccess the global men menu settings in our gig board and switch that to reamp. Okay. Now we're going to engage track three and set our output on track two to front center low frequency effect stereo and our input on audio three to front left, front right left mono. Let's roll this back. Let's choose a little bit different sound to reamp with. I'm going to select something that has a little bit more grit to it. Let's give this a listen. So I've already started by setting up a MIDI cable using the audio interface from the out into the input of the MIDI on the gig board. So let's set this up. Um, I'm going to access the global settings just by touching the dot 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 menu on the right hand top screen. And what you want to make sure and do is set up your MIDI channel to Omni and your program changes to send and receive. Okay, it's very important. So let's back out of there. The next thing you're go going to want to do is set up your program numbers. You can access that in the same menu by going to hardware assign. Now I've already assigned this to one, but you can set this to whatever you want. But for this example, I've chosen one. And I'm going to go to my next rig and do the same thing and choose a different number. Okay, hardware assign. And you can see I've already set that up to program change number two. All right, good. So we're all set up here on the Headrush gig board. Now let's set up everything on Pro Tools first. As you can see, I've already set up a MIDI track, but we want to change a couple things in order for this to work. First, we're going to change clips to program change. Okay. And on our output, we want to make sure that that is set to channel one. Good. Now, using our pencil tool, I'm just going to write in a couple changes. So I'm going to come to our MIDI track and write some automation. Okay. I'm going to set one for our program change number one, and the other for our program change number two. All right, now using the hand tool, I'm going to bring these a little bit closer together. Okay. 
All right, now let's see what happens. All right, as you can see, we got the program changes to work seamlessly. And you can set that up across uh, for live performance application or to change your programs in the middle of a recording session. It's a very powerful, useful tool. So today we've learned how to set up program changes using automation through MIDI with the Headrush Gig Board and the included Pro Tools first. Thanks for watching.